Hi, I'm Jessica Taylor from inkitupwithjessica.com and in this video I'm going to show you 100, yes you heard that correctly, 100 DIY Christmas card ideas that you can make. Now these are all cards that I received in the mail from friends and family over the last few years and so they're made by, by a variety of people with a variety of different styles. So I hope that you'll find some that will spark your creativity so that you can make your own handmade cards. One of my favorite ways to make cards is with pattern papers. They add the color and the design to your card really quickly and they help you decide which colors of cardstock and ink to use with them. So this card just has a pretty patterned paper on the back, very cute with the little ginger mud men. And then I like how the different punch outs are labeled onto the card. So where you have cute, you also have very elegant. This candle image was embossed as well as the greeting with a gold embossing powder, which makes it a very elegant card. Back to cute with a snowman. I just really like on this one how they used a die shape for their snowman image instead of just cutting a regular square or rectangle. That makes it a little more fun. I love snowflakes. In my craft room not outside but I'm from Wisconsin so we get a lot of it and this is a really pretty card with an embossed background that's kind of like snow falling and then one big snowflake with a glittery snowflake on top of it I also like how striking the black is against the blue and white more traditional card back to the blues and silvers I really like that color combination now here is a fun fold card. If you're gonna make fun fold cards, make sure that you send them to someone that knows about fun folds or make it really obvious how they open it. This is a fun one that pops out like this so that I'm not sure how to show this best on video, but so you could kind of display it like this if you wanted to. And then she put the note on the back. So that's a very fun idea. I'm not even sure what that kind of card is called but I do like the moose, very cute. Here's a cute card with snowmen. I, liked how, I like how the three snowmen are down the side. That's a great card layout to use. This is not a color combination that I would choose to use, but it's very nice, rather elegant. I think I would probably make this card in blue because blue is my favorite color. I was intrigued by these next two because my handwriting is horrible, but they this person actually wrote Merry Christmas on the front of the card instead of using a stamp. I think that's pretty impressive. This one too, this is more in a personal handwriting, um, but it says lots of love at Christmas and then it's handwritten to you and your family. I thought that was nice. This is a little untraditional in that it's flowers instead of a Christmas image, but I guess they could be Christmas flowers. And I always love, this is kind of corrugated on the background. One of my first card making tools was a crimper and I still like to crimp my cardstock. It's very fun. Another shades of blue card. No snowflakes on here, but I do like kind of a, it's almost more purpley amethyst and silver with the glimmer. Very pretty. Here's another fun fold that is kind of a pop-up little surprise message on the inside so it doesn't open like a regular card it opens like that and you could you could write your message here or on the pullout very cute traditional red and green now I am careful about adding embellishments to my cards because they make your cards harder to mail and sometimes they'll get ruined if they go through the post office so this might be a better card to hand to someone because these buttons are really, I'm not sure you can see that, they're really thick. They look really nice, um, but maybe a little bit harder to mail. This one was made with a kit. Do not be ashamed to use kits to make your handmade cards. They're a great place to start and they make things really quick and easy. And then here's one more that, it's not really a fun fold, it's more a fun cut. And so the front of the card is not really a full card front. It's like this is a floating piece that's taped behind this main piece. Kind of fun. You just want to make sure that you're careful what, where you write. Where you write. Because I would write all the way across here and then my words would show here and it wouldn't look as nice. But that's another fun idea. 
This is one of my favorite fun folds, and I actually have a video on how to do this one, so I'll link that um, up above so that you can click on it if you wanna watch how to make this kind. But it just kind of opens up, gives you lots of room to write a message if you want to, if you wanna write a long message, or you can fill this extra space with a Merry Christmas or whatever image that you want. But I think that's a really fun one. This one is very elegant couple of tree die cuts layered and these are cut out of kind of a shimmery glittery paper but the oval behind it really makes it pop I like that here's another patterned paper this one covers the entire back of the card but this is what they call a monochromatic card because it's all one color like red and then a neutral which is vanilla very elegant looking Here's another one with a pattern paper that is super easy because you just stamp Merry Christmas, cut it out with a big circle die or punch and tape it on and you have a lovely card. Some different pattern papers kind of alternated on the bottom of this one. And a ribbon is always nice to use on your cards. I love this idea of using it flat so that you don't have a bow or a knot that is gonna add bulk to your envelope. Sometimes they charge extra postage for that, so you have to be careful. But this is just wrapped around and taped in between the layers. So that's a great way to use ribbon. Another kind of elegant gold Christmas tree card. Very pretty. Making spirits bright. If you have friends that like to have a little holiday treat in the form of a drink, that'd be a fun card for them. Pretty shiny globe on this one. Here's another fun fold that I do have instructions for, so I'll link the video. Kind of fun. So you can write your greeting, you know, here or here or even on this little flap. You never go wrong with reindeer on your Christmas cards. And I like how the punch of the reindeer has a circle behind it to kind of make it pop out and highlight it. This is some silver thread that I'm not sure if it's, I haven't seen much of it lately, but for a while it was really trending. I would see that on a lot of cards and I would try it and I could not get it to work right at all. Here's a nice wreath, but I want to point out that this is a really simple card in that there's one piece of white cardstock that's put on a red card base. That's it. And then just all of this, the stamping is done on the white piece. And then it looks like maybe stickles or something to add the little glittery berries on there. Here's a really pretty one. If you have a patterned paper that's like a picture like this, or if you take your own pictures, you could always put them on the front of a card like this. It's very pretty. You can stamp your own scene onto your cards. Here's some fun Christmas lights kind of making their way all across the card. And then another blue and silver card, which is a really great color combo to use. Some silver and gold, which makes me want to bust out into song, but I won't do that to you. This is another fun one. If you, this kind of combines pattern paper, and if you have a photo that you want to send on your Christmas cards, make it part of your card. So you could take your family photo and cut it down to size to place on the front of your Christmas card. Here's some pretty poinsettias. These were colored with the Stampin' Blends markers, which are alcohol-based markers. Really easy to use in that they make you look more talented than you are at coloring. I am not talented at coloring, so I know this. Here's a fun window card, so you can see into the inside of the card that there's a scene. Cookies for Santa. And then um, this is just like regular scotch tape taping in the staircase so that it goes either way. Kind of fancy. Gold and navy It's another great color combination. I like how this frame was made, I think probably by layering two oval dies to make that. It's really pretty. More traditional colors. Here's an origami Christmas tree. That's probably a little more complicated than I would do personally. 
here's a really easy one. This is more my style of card with the pattern paper in the background and then, you know, maybe your little greeting and an image here. Don't think that you have to have these supplies to make this card. This would look great with like a Christmas tree here or a snowman. Get creative with the supplies that you have. This is a gatefold card, which is one of my favorite styles of fun folds, but this has a belly band around it that you take off and then open the card like that. Very fancy. Black and gold makes for a very striking card. I also like, if I'm not using pattern paper, the embossed backgrounds. So I'm not sure how well you can see that on video, but this has an embossed pattern that you would use an embossing folder with a die cutting machine to emboss that background. You really don't need either. This is just stamped, a poinsettia stamped. There's no embossing on the background, but it does look like they this paper has a little bit of texture to it. And also, if you look on the inside of this one, this piece is taped to the inside, so there's a window here. That's a little bit fancier than I thought at first glance. Very cool. Silver and navy blue, great color combination. This is another kit card. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, and so don't be afraid to use kits, or don't be embarrassed to use kits. There's nothing wrong with using kits to make your cards. Let someone else do the majority of the work for you. More traditional colors. Here's another fun fold. That's an easy one where you just take your card base like you normally would make a card and you fold this back to your fold. And there you go, you have a fun fold. Another traditional one where this is kind of a present, which is cool. So just pattern paper with a bow on the top. Kind of looks like a present back there. This one is so shimmery and fun, but what I wanted to point out on it is that the tree is cut out, so this is like the negative of the tree, and then back here, I'm, I think this is all washi tape, but you could do it with washi tape or with pattern papers and just do strips across to fill in behind where the tree cut out is. thought that's very cool. This is actually a napkin card. So this was made with a napkin, and then there was lots of glitter added to it. Another simple kit card that people would still be glad to get. And then for this one, my friend actually had a stamp made because she's from Buckeye, Arizona. So she had a stamp made that says, Wishing you joy and peace from Buckeye, Arizona. I thought that was a fun idea. This card is so pretty. This is one of my favorites just blue and white and really sparkly. There's a lot of glitter on there. Another traditional colored tree card. This is another one where I like this shape behind and it really highlights the silhouette, silhouette of the Bethlehem dies. Here's a super simple one that you could make for sure. Pattern paper, just a strip across the card with another color card stock matted behind it. Stamp your Merry Christmas on there, you're done. You don't have to make it super complicated if you don't want to. Here's a three panel card. So you would stamp this all together first and then cut it up, I think is the easiest way. Red snowflake that's glittery. Red and white is always a good color combination. Just another more a little bit more traditional. A wreath, and what I like about this wreath is that it is embossed and then sponged over to add the green color. Very pretty. Navy and silver again. Here's another really easy one, just the card with some trees punched out of pattern paper. Pretty simple, Merry Christmas. This one has a little reindeer paper clip on it with a red rhinestone for Rudolph's nose. Here's another fun fold, which I have actually never made a fun fold like this. Um, I don't know why, I don't think they're that hard. They just seem a little putsy to me. It's a nice card in traditional green. 
I love this one how, again, this is the negative. So like the tree was punched out and then this plaid paper is showing through the tree. That's a fun idea. And it kind of takes away a layer. Sometimes our cards can get really thick and so they're harder to run through the mail. It's a pretty one. I think I actually have a video on how to make this one. And don't feel like you can't copy my cards exactly because that's why I show them to you. When I make cards, when I show you how to make a card in a video, it's yours. Make it, do, send it to people. It's a pretty one. I like this purple color in the background. That's a little untraditional, but I like that. Some trees on a background that's embossed. This one is shiny. The gold background is embossed, very fancy. And then the trees are punched out of plaid paper. This is some of my favorite pattern paper. It's got some copper foil to it that makes it shiny. And then here's another fun fold. I know I have a video on how to make this one, so I'll make sure to link that. Very fun. This one has some green glimmer paper in the background. Anything with sparkles is just great. This is a three panel card that just the pattern paper was cut into three panels and then you just leave a little border in between each one. Another fun fold card. And this is the one where if you cut your cardstock the long way, so four and a quarter by 11 inches, and then fold it into a card and then fold this end back to the fold. That's how you get that fun fold. Some sparkly trees, and I like how this one uses some vellum on it that was embossed, but it just kind of makes these background trees a little bit faded. So it really looks like they're in the background. Some fun pattern paper with Christmas light bulbs on it. Pretty traditional colors here. You can use a stamp on just plain colored cardstock to stamp your own background. Another fun fold. I think this is called the triple layering technique, but basically you cut your rectangles first, kind of stack just the white ones on top of each other, stamp your pattern, and then add the green layers in between them. So then everything kind of matches up across it. I'm telling you, the glitter is fancy. Pretty basic one with pattern paper in the background. This used a die cut. To make it even easier, I would just stamp right on here, Merry Christmas. Another fun fold that's pretty similar to a couple other ones. A beachy Christmas if you live somewhere warm. I thought this was clever. This was actually an insert for an envelope, and I think it came in a kit, but instead of using it for that, they used it on the front of their card. Very clever. Here's another fun fold that this pops up, kind of a little easel card, so that then you could display it like this, and then kind of opens like that, and then the writing is on the back. Another kit card that is very lovely. Another blue and white card. I like how this is kind of stamped off so stamp and then without re-inking, stamp again to give it that kind of fading look. This is just a really elegant card. Fun Christmas card in traditional colors. And then this one is sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. So just covered in kind of glitter. And this might be a dryer sheet. For these final cards, I actually wanted to show you the inside because I thought there were some fun ideas here. So this one actually has a printed insert that is like this. So if you wanted to write your Christmas letter on like half a printed on half a sheet, and then you could put it right inside your Christmas cards. This one, I love this line of sparkle down here, but then the inside is almost as pretty as the outside. Also, if you don't sign your cards, some people send them to me and have a little note in there that if you want to send this on to someone else, you can. So sometimes they sign on the letter or if you're just inserting a letter, you can do that. This one I thought was fun because it's a die cut shape. 
that's on the inside. And then this one on the inside, there's pattern paper up top. So it just adds a little color on the inside. So I hope that all of these Christmas card ideas sparked your creativity and that you will go and make and send, make sure you're sending them, some Christmas cards this year. If you have questions about any of the cards that I showed in this video, please ask me in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Happy stamping!